Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. If you watched the little quick unboxing we did a couple days ago, you know I was planning on ceramic coating the rims. So as you can see, I saved you guys the boring part. It's all jacked up. Got the tires off. Unfortunately, I only have two jack stands, so I gotta do half and half. But we will be ceramic coating the rims today. So this is a little before not washed or anything yet. You can see how filthy they get. This is the inside. It's impossible to get clean, so. I'm hoping once I get her all sparkled up and ceramic coated that it should hold up a little better, hopefully. So I'll grab what I'm gonna be using for this. I'll show you what we got. All right, so first, what I'm gonna be using, after we wash it, of course, we got the little clay bar in there just to get any of the gunk that happens to be stuck on there. It is the wheels, so there's a lot of stuff that's most likely stuck on there. So we got some of that. Also, because I was already there, I just decided to get their clay luber just to help the clay slide along, grab everything it's supposed to, and not scratch the crap out of the paint, hopefully. Then, just to give it an extra little bit of shine, I got some of the Meguiar's Ultimate Polish, so we'll see how this works. I'm thinking I might do like maybe just the mirror on the car, just to give it a test. I don't want to do the whole thing in case it doesn't work. I don't want to ruin the whole car, and I'm doing it by hand for the wheels. I'll be polishing by hand, so. Little section, like I said, we'll maybe do the mirror, just see how it turns out, and then we'll be able to do the rest of the car if it's good. And then lastly, if you've seen the other video, we got Mr. Fix Premium Coating 9H. I got the little cap in there now, if it'll focus. So you got just a little hole to dab on your little applicator and should be good to go. So yeah, I'll get the wheels cleaned up. And then before we start clay barring anything, I'll show you what it looks like once we get most of that gunk off of there. All right guys, so I gave them a quick wash. The outside's not too bad because that gets washed every day, or not every day, but easily when I wash the car. You can see on the inside, there is actually quite a bit of gunk that's left on there. So you definitely want your clay bar, which I did the wheel over there already. So this clay luber as well works really awesome and it smells like bubble gum. So makes it a little better. It's not smelly while you're trying to get it all going. So yeah, basically all you want to do, make sure your wheel doesn't roll away. Give her a little squirt in there. And if you Start rubbing down. You guys can hear all the stuff it's actually picking up. And then you see as I stay on the same spot, now it's quiet and it feels smooth, right? Where if you go up here, And then obviously if you look at it, it's picking up all the junk off of there. So definitely a step you need to do, otherwise that's all gonna be coated under. Like you can ceramic coat over it, but you're never getting it back off of there then. You can see like this here is a chunk of something. But I'm not a professional detailer. I've said that in my other videos. This is just me doing stuff for fun. So I'm not looking to get it 100% perfect. But you know, a little step like this, you can see how easily that gets a lot of junk off there. Obviously it's worth it, so I'll keep going, get this done, and then we'll show you the polish step. All right, there you go, guys. You can see, picks up quite a bit of shit off there. But they're all clayed can see it looks much cleaner already. This side, like I said, 
doesn't pick up too much because this is easy to clean when you wash the car whenever you wash it. The inside, because I don't get in there often, definitely is where most of that came from. You can see it picks up all sort of little chunks of probably tar, maybe rubber. But yeah, it looks dirty, but if you feel it, that's all in there. So like they say, you just fold it over a few times, you can keep using it. So I'll save this piece. The rims were pretty dirty, so I used about half. I actually did the other side of the car already. But also, like I said earlier, we're going to be doing the mirror. So I clay barred that already as well. I know everybody likes to see the water effect once it's all cured, but I'm going to need the wheels back on by then. So I figure if I do the mirror, it can see how good the water beads off and I can get the wheels back on. So I'll be able to drive the car. So I'll give this a rinse off, dry them up, and then we'll go on to the polish. All right, rims are all dried up, ready to be polished. You can see I rinsed them off one more time after the clay bar. And they look quite a bit cleaner already. But if you look, especially in that shot, you can see the lines. Like here, little hairline scratches in there. That's what the polish will hopefully get out. There's a couple nicks here and there. Those aren't going to come out. It's already chipped, but whatever. It is what it is. I'm not too picky. Won't really see the inside here anyways. It's just to kind of hopefully keep it a little cleaner, like I said earlier. So basically, we've got our little foam pad. We got our polish. Just give it a shake. I know this thing looks dirty, but it's clean. I've just used it before. So, squirt. You don't need a lot. Just put a few dots. That's all you need. You go in here. Just kind of dab it out. Same as you would do with a polisher. Dab it out like that. This is obviously not going to be as good because it's by hand. But it's doable. Just give it a lot of pressure. Little circles around like that. And basically you can see it kind of goes clear as it starts spreading out. So I'll keep going around, finish this, and I'll show you what it looks like once we wipe it off. All right, this is the after polish on the back side. You can see by the reflection of the center there. She's looking pretty sharp. You get the one little dot there in the middle again. That's just a, another chip. Same with the hair. But it is what it is. You can see I got the chair in the same spot. Those lines there are pretty much gone, so the polish worked pretty good. So I'll flip them over, do the front side, and then move on to the ceramic. All right, onto the front side. And same as the back, they're clean, but if you look, like especially here where the light shines, you can see you get a little bit of lines in there. So the polish, for the time it takes, this is only like an extra 10, 15 minutes. You might as well polish it, make it as nice as you can. Because I know if you're in a rush or you got new rims, you can just coat over it. But for the extra few minutes, it's definitely worth giving a little polish. And then this mess here is why I decided to do this by hand. Because even if I had the fancy polisher, it's going to be a pain in the butt to get in all those spots. So with our little foam pad here. Easy enough to squish it in there, get nice and clean in all the little spots, and we'll be good to go. They say my car is too loud. Come on now. But anyways, you can see polishing's done. 
you get rid of the little lines on there so definitely worth the extra couple of minutes and I also did the mirror you can see a couple little specks of dust on there already but you can see me in there in the light and everything looks good so I'm gonna ceramic coat this one the other one which I'll show you will leave and then we can do a comparison you can see that's just wiped off all that stuff there is what the clay bar would get off and then whatever little scratches are under there the polish would take care of but basically I'll do the other side and once it cures we'll get a little bit of water and we can test out how hydrophobic the Mr. Fix is alright guys got the ceramic on there basically up and down side to side you can see maybe in the video it's pretty clear to see where you're where you've been and where you haven't make sure you don't have any water on there I'll have to wipe that up before I get to that point but back and forth and then they want crisscross, so up and down. You don't have to go super fast, just make sure you get it all coated proper. In five, ten-ish minutes, depending on how hot you're at. It's pretty cold here still, so I'll give it probably close to ten minutes. It's a pretty big area. When I do the mirror, which I'll do in a minute, I'll show you guys. It'll be easier to see how it goes on. It's a pretty small area, so I don't know, five, six minutes, and it should be good to go. Okay, guys, it's been about, say, eight, nine minutes. It's ready to start to buff it off. Just grab your microfiber cloth. You don't want to put all your energy into this. You'll wipe it right off. It's just kind of to level it out. You can kind of see it's a little wavy if I go like that. So basically, just like the weight of the cloth. Wipe it down. You can see the nice shine it's got already. I didn't do anything with this side of the spokes because I'll never see it. And it was more of a pain in the butt than anything. But I set up the tires like this because I could do this one, do that one. By the time I'm done ceramic coating that one, this one's ready to buff off. Save yourself a little bit of time. And yeah, we'll do the same on the mirror in a couple minutes. It'll be easier for you guys to see. I just figured I'd show you the process on here. Okay, so I thought I'd show you on here. Gotta do it quick, you can see. Kind of hard to see, but I got my ceramic on there. It'll be easier to see it go on on here. So basically, you can see clear line there. Just go back and forth. Get around the corners. Up and down, they say crisscross, that way you don't miss any spots. Try to get under there as best you can. And that's as simple as it is for the mirror. A little easier to see it on here than on the rims most likely video doesn't pick it up really but you leave it for it's pretty warm in here so maybe five six minutes and you give it a little buff and she should be good to go 
All right, now they say to wait for it to start to flash before you buff it. If you can see here, those lines, that's what they're talking about. It's starting to harden up a little bit. Hard to catch it on video, but you can kind of see it. There you go. You can see it pretty good there on the door. All here. So basically, you just take your cloth. You don't want to go hard. You don't want to get all the fluff on there either. Just give her a nice smooth wipe. And you're good to go. Just give it a little, make sure you get all the fluffies off. It's my fault for using the brand new microfiber, but that's all you gotta do. And you're good to go. I'll get the last little bit off and we're set. All right, so I got the top done with the block and for in all the little spaces, just take the block out, grab the cloth by itself. I know everybody's going to write, oh, you should wear gloves, but it is what it is. If I learn anything from Marvel movies, this will only make me stronger, so I'm not too worried. You can see a little shiny, got coated there already, so we're good to go. But basically, grab it and just get in all the little nooks and crannies. Make sure you get a good bit on there because it will dry out. Do about half, then reload it, do the other half. You don't have to be too quick. That's why I did the front first. Then by the time I'm done this, should almost be able to buff it off. Sorry if the camera's a little bit wonky, but I'm trying to watch what I'm doing at the same time. So basically do that, get in all the little spaces where the block can't fit and you'll be good to go. All right guys, there's the after. All sparkly, ceramic coated. So I'll leave it for a day. And then we'll come back and we'll do the water test, see how the beading is. I waited an hour and I actually put a second coat on here. So there's two coats. I think it looks pretty good. There's a couple little imperfections, but nothing major. Like I said, it's just the rims. I'm not too worried. When we get around to doing the actual car, that'll be a different story. Use a couple different products, make sure she's all perfect before any ceramic coating goes on. So stay tuned for that. And tomorrow I'll get the water and we'll test it out on the mirror because obviously the rims are too hard to see. But you can see the sides done. And they're definitely looking sharp on there now. So I'll get the wheels back on the car and we'll carry on tomorrow. All right, guys, we're back the next morning. Ceramic coating's all done, had time to cure. It says wait 24 hours before really getting it out in the elements. And it can take up to, I read online, like two, three weeks before it's actually fully cured and hard. So don't go too nuts on the paint. But we did this one mirror here and the rims. You can see the rims are back on. Looking good. The only thing I should have done is the lug nuts. I should have at least polished them up a bit. They look a little dirty compared to the rest now, but I'll get to that another day. So that's all good. And then everybody wants to see the water test. So if you look on here, I already tried this once. Not too shabby. It's not the best in the world, but it's definitely better than it was. So I bet if I... This was just hand polished as well. If I did a whole, you know, correction of the car with the polisher and everything, 
which we happen to have right here. I bought one because we're going to attempt to do the car. See how that works. It was on sale, so I always get suckered in by the sales. But yeah, seems to work pretty good. I think for the whole car, I would probably use a different ceramic coating. Maybe something a little expen or a little more, you know, not expensive, but better better reviews. This thing was 15 bucks, I think, Canadian. It's like $9 American. So you kind of get what you pay for, but like I said, for the rims, it works fine. I might use the rest of the bottle on that beast over there, but we'll see how energetic I get. So like I said, works not bad. 10, 15 bucks, can't go wrong. It's easy to put on, just let it dry. Get it clean, put it on, let it dry, you're set. So, If you like the video, thumbs up, give it a subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next video.